Should the future of Mario be open? It's one of the universe's fundamental questions. Science has long sought the answer, but alas, to no avail. But I, Dr. Red Kwan, PhD in Mario Studies from the University of Harvard University at Yale, will finally solve this deepest of questions. What makes this perplexing positivity so positively perplexing? Please don't click off the video yet, I don't do this the whole time. Well, it's because since Mario has gone to 3D, he's had several open games, and several more linear mission-based games. And sadly, they've all been good. I know, I know, how are we supposed to determine what to do with Mario, when everything Mario's done has been pretty great? So here we have it, the debate between the fans of games like Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2, and the fans of games like Mario 64, Sunshine, and Odyssey. What Mario is the best Mario, and which has the most potential? Should the future of Mario be open games, or linear mission style games? Which I'll abbreviate Lition style from now on because it's easier and it sounds dumb enough for me to count it as a joke. Hello all 2380 of you, I'm Red Kwan, and what type of Mario should be the future of Mario? So first, let's look at what each brings to the table. The open Mario style allows for more exploration, and they can make each collectible feel more unique. Instead of completing something like a level to get most objectives, it becomes more of a hide-and-seek type of experience. This allows for the use of not only platforming, but puzzles and challenges. The Lition style of games can do some of this too, but open Marios have the potential for way more variety. The idea of finding secret areas or finding things other players could easily miss is something open Marios do a lot better job of. So what do Lition Marios do better? Well, with a focus on platforming, they do a better job at platforming. I know it seems counterintuitive, but I have a PhD in this stuff, so I know what I'm talking about. With less open areas, platforming becomes easier to design, and the ways that platforming is done throughout the level can be much more interesting. Instead of having to build a believable area, games like Mario Galaxy can be built like tracks, which, while not allowing as much freedom and exploration, provide some amazing platforming segments. Also, because these types of games don't have to build entire worlds to house their levels, it means there can be more variety in the locations the game takes place in, too. If you're building whole kingdoms or whatever, you can only realistically have so many areas. But with more linear Mario games, instead of big worlds, you really only have to make pathways, which takes a lot less time, and which allows for a much wider variety of areas and more interesting platforming ideas. So that's kind of the trade-off. With open Marios, you have more interesting ways to get objectives, like racing Koopa the Quick, or five of Koopa the Quick's less talented nephews, but you aren't allowed to have as much variety in the location, and platforming is harder to get right. This is a difficult dilemma, because I feel like this isn't so much about one style being better than the other, as it is a personal preference type thing. Some people want Mario to be more of a game about exploration, and some people want Mario to be more about platforming. So what's the best solution? Well, it's kinda complicated. To start with, I definitely don't think a pure 3D Mario platformer is the answer here. With Mario 3D World and Mario 3D Land, Nintendo tried to make 3D Marios that were all about the platforming and very little about the exploration. I think Mario 3D World is a great game, and bad opinion incoming, it's actually one of my favorites. But if we're being honest, 3D World and 3D Land are the two least popular 3D Marios, and it isn't even all that close. I mean, some people don't like Sunshine, but that really doesn't have to do with how open or linear it is. It just has to do with dumb pachinko machines. So we're left with three styles of Mario games that could potentially be the future of Mario. We have games like Odyssey, games like Galaxy, and games like 64. Mario Odyssey has the smooth and free controls of a game in a huge open kingdom, it holds tons of collectibles, and it's the most popular 3D Mario game in terms of sales. And Mario Galaxy has great platforming segments, but still finds a way to have some galaxies that are more open, and it's a good way to have something that feels somewhat open, even though it's mostly platforming focused. And it also has a huge fan base behind it. Mario 64 feels outdated at this point, and it may seem like it's basically the same category as Mario Odyssey, but funny enough, I think Mario 64 is probably the best direction for future Mario games. I think Mario 64 is the game that best captures what 3D Mario is, and not just because it was the first one. Mario 64 has everything that 3D Mario has been. It feels open and has plenty of objectives that require exploration, but it's still small enough to have plenty of different level ideas and some well-made platforming segments. It's open, but everything is manageable, and it still feels like a platformer. There ain't no sand kingdoms here. I mean, there is a sand area, but it's not stupidly huge with 80 collectibles. With a game like Odyssey that's almost entirely about exploration, it's hard to please fans of platforming Marios. 
And with the more linear style of games, the people who like open Marios will be disappointed. You could probably make the case that Galaxy also strikes a balance, but Galaxy strikes a balance that's a little more linear heavy, and I think Mario 64 strikes a balance that's a little more about exploration and weird task type stuff. And I think making it more open instead of more linear, probably the better move right now. Odyssey was super successful and people seemed to really like it, so going back to something linear, even if it was really good, probably wouldn't go over that well. Also, more open games are more exciting to people and are easier to market, so I think it would probably be the best way to get the most amount of people to buy and enjoy a Mario game. It might seem like another Odyssey or another Galaxy would be the best options for Mario going forward, given their success and benefits, but I think another Odyssey might start to lose Nintendo some of the fans of the more linear Galaxy games, because a lot of those people weren't huge fans of Odyssey, and I think another linear game after Odyssey's reception would make for a lot of fans who are angry that the games are going back to a more linear style. If I'm being honest, I think the next Mario game is probably going to be something pretty close to Odyssey, maybe even a direct sequel, but as for what I think it should be, for the best game that the most people like, I think it might actually be best to do something like Mario 64. This video was probably a huge mess because I wrote it over the course of like two months and didn't read over anything to try to fix it, but it's a good thing that I don't care about quality. Well, I'm Red Quan. Do you think the future of Mario should be open? I just realized that was the title of this video and I just ended up talking about why Mario games should be more like Mario 64. So, uh, yeah, the future of Mario should be open, but not that open. Just like, as open as Mario 64. Hopefully that's good enough. Anyways, I'm Red Quan, thank you all for watching, and I'll hopefully see you all later. Goodbye.